No! <laughs> he just <laughs> Kaka's just a jock, and he calls you a nerd. Wow, <laughs> stop bullying me. <laughs> The real punishment for breaking the laws of magic. He's bullying. Just, he just bullies you like a nerd. Puts you in a headlock, gives you a nookie. <laughs> hey, Rose. Hello. Hello. I, I'm here to talk to you about some things. Did you raid a graveyard off of Main Street? Did I raid a graveyard off of Main Street? No. I did not. You don't raid graveyards, that'd be rude. Uh, you, you take from I the morgue. I literally have an aspect about raiding from graveyards. Hmm? I literally have an aspect about this, Diplo. Yeah, I know. No, that I know, I know. I'm just saying that in this case you did not. Also, okay. too, you have morgues now. I mean, yeah, obviously morgues are convenient, but older bones have more power to them, remember? Mm hmm. So occasionally you do need to visit a great area. And you, you didn't steal the trouble. Stegosaurus skeleton from the museum. I have not stolen any uh, dinosaur skeletons, no. Okay. That's I it. assume... Con uh, way back the fuck up, Kaga. I assume... He did it, but you know the taco he's got in his hand. But yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> I assume that if you're, um... asking me about this... That somebody did. At no point have I indicated that somebody stole these things, and at no point have I indicated that I have been attacked by zombies in the last two days. Well, they weren't my zombies. Hmm. But theoretically, if you had been attacked by zombies, and if the Stegosaurus skeleton had been stolen, she lowers her voice and looks around and uh, quickly sketches a circle on the ground around the pair of them before continuing. Mm -hmm. If you, you don't need to bend over that much when you do the circle, you know? <laughs> don't tell me what to do. No, I'm just saying. I just appreciate it. Anyway... Um, where was I? Oh, right. Anyway, if you had been dealing with some sort of problems, then you might want to know that I'm pretty sure the Knights of the Black Denari are now. Right, good, good. That's... Um... Good, and I'll add that to the list of things I have to deal with now. Fantastic. Better you than me. Oh, so speaking of which, um... Have you been good and you haven't been conducting any necromancy? Absolutely not. Come on, play nice. Never. Listen. I have we kept all of the other six laws, but the fifth law is dumb, Kaga. It's dumb. We we've been over this. It's there for a reason. A bad reason, bros. Don't you rose me? Boops. No, god damn it, you do not get to boop me, not when you would kill me if it weren't for the protection of the white court. 
I still keep telling you, I'm just to bring you to trial. I'm not to kill you. So that I can get killed. You, there's several steps before that is all I'm saying. <laughs> oh boy, I'm sure I'm glad that I'll get the chance to suffer anxiety before I die. Uh, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to be helpful here, okay? And I'm just trying to uncover a sustainable mechanism to overcome the age-old problem of death. But you don't see me justifying my random beheadings. I mean, well, I don't. Okay. They're what? not random beheadings. Thank you! Thank you. I, I am glad that you apologized. I don't randomly go around beheading people. Fine, you don't see me using that as grounds to behead people. What? Beheading people that commit crimes? I mean, in the case of a magical murder, da da da, mind probing. <laughs> Uh, it, it's actually understandable. Honestly, if it weren't for the fifth law, I would probably be a warden. But the fifth law is just very, very dumb, and I do not agree with it. Right, right. Okay, well, Rose, thank you for being honest and open with me. It's good to have these talks. Oh, am I on parole now? I'm, I'm pushing for the Damocles stuff. I am not really interested in that arrangement. I would rather continue my uh, relationship with the White Court. Uh. Uh, right, right. Okay. You, you be. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, exit. Um. No. Right. <sighs> fine, fine. I'm just trying to help. All is all I'm saying. And I'm just trying to become immortal. Uh, speaking of words about immortality, uh, minor concern, uh, based on some things that happened in Chicago last year, uh, turns out the word of Kemmler was real? I heard a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, it's been destroyed, supposedly. Everyone... Uh, well, that's a shame. Well, kind of. Kemmler was a nasty guy independent of his comment prep. I mean, he was also a Nazi. Right. That's the, the, the case in point. Like, uh, yeah, there... I'm, not, I'm not going to go around defending Kemmler, but at the same time, I would have liked to read his book. Yeah. Well... You can thank Dresden for that. Seriously? That guy is... Ugh, what a... You, you say that, yet... He did with the Sword of Damocles and did pretty well with it. You know? Oh, yeah. I've heard... Listen, I've heard about his stories with Morgan. It worked so well for him nearly getting executed three times for crimes he didn't commit. Uh, excuse me. Morgan wouldn't be here, it would be me. And I am much more reasonable. Accurate as that may be, there's still the small issue that I would have to stop doing necromancy. Yes! Which is the entire point! If you right. keep doing it, you're eventually going to go crazy! I feel perfectly sane right now. 
Well, all right. At least 95% sane. But I was a little bit insane before I took up the it. So. Stop lying. No, I am being honest. You, the fact that I had to go to you, and the fact that you had to pause for a second to think about whether you raided that freaking graveyard says otherwise, what? Rose. I raid graveyards sometimes. Is Which is not a, a healthy thing to do. I mean, neither is spending months at a time cooped up in a tower and indulging in occult research, but you never seem to be mad when right wizards do that. Because so few do it! <laughs> the point is, the laws of magic are not supposed to be about policing personal health. I'm just looking out for you. Self-transformation isn't healthy, and you allow that. I mean, it can be not healthy. You just need to know what you're doing. She rolls her eyes. And what if I say that I feel the same way about necromancy? I think we just need to know what we're doing better. Well, I would say you're lying. Because I mean, look at you! You're half insane! You- I am almost entirely sane, thank you very much. I- Wrong! On so many levels! I know for a fact that is incorrect! On what basis? You have drawn a circle around us every time we have met for the past year! That's because every time we've met, I've had something to tell you that I don't want overheard. It's not that complicated. You forgot to put power into the circle! It's Did not I? doing... Did not? Rose, there's no power in the circle. No, Dippo, out of character there should be. That was the yeah. whole point. For I know, I know. He's, he, he just says oh, it's fine. He's fine. gaslighting. No. Yes, he, there. Stop gaslighting me. Uh, I mean, fine, fine. There's power in the circle. Sure. I'm not gaslighting you. I'm You're telling me I'm going insane when I'm not. That is definitionally gaslighting. You raid graveyards. By definition, that is a bit crazy. I mean, I acknowledge being a bit crazy, but I have reasons for raiding graveyards. Reason or not, raiding a graveyard is still a bit... out there, Rose. I mean... I'm not going to go ahead and call myself a beacon of pro-social behavior, certainly. But... It's not like it's directly hurting anybody. I... I have many ways that it technically can and is. Fire away. One. Forgetting to fill in the grave after you take the body. I don't see how that hurts anybody unless somebody is particularly clumsy. Besides, only times that have happened is like... Actually, I don't think that's ever happened. Has uh, someone been not filling in their graves behind them? Uh, one, yes. Two, it was you, August, last mm. year. I don't think I was writing any graves on August. Right. I'm just going to. I'm just going to sigh. Rose. Th this is the problem because, you know, the circle is. It's such a thin circle. It's hard to tell that there's any power in it. Well, it's not meant to hold up to a fucking assault. It's just a small anti-eavesdropping mission. I mean, if you wanted a small anti-eavesdropping measure, why don't you just have a circle somewhere in this freaking giant apartment? 
I do, but it's in my lab where I do not wish to invite you. I already know you've permitted to necromancy! An that additional doesn't... charge of it won't make your execution any better or worse! That doesn't mean I want you to see exactly what I'm researching. What if we get in the fight? I don't want you to know what things I could throw at you. You know what things I can throw at you! Namely a sword! <laughs> Why would I choose to give up the advantage of you not knowing that I can throw at you? Because it won't make a difference! Born and sword, Rose! <laughs> Don't you be like that. You're just upset because it is very effective at what it does. I mean, it is, but it shows a horde of zombies. We're just back to square one again, huh? I mean, not really. I'm not actually upset, but... Or at least I'm not very upset. Honestly, I enjoy our little shouting tea. No! I have work to do! I have to actually investigate this, inform people about the fact that the Black Denari might be here, and then have Hello, to deal I'm with... Sorry, I am sorry I'm late. Uh, yeah. let me You're interrupting. You're interrupting us. Sorry. I'm driving. Oh, sorry. okay. Yes. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. It's okay to be late. You don't need okay. to explain. It right. happens, yes. Uh, yeah. Alright. Kaga's just going to sigh very heavily and just leave because what the fuck is he going to say? We were wrong. Necromancy shouldn't be explicitly forbidden. No, th those are both, in, in fact, wrong in infactual statements. Oh, absolutely. But, uh, Rose doesn't believe that. Yes, and hence the problem is he's trying to tell Rose to stop it. Because look at how crazy you are, Rose. When's the last time you didn't raid a graveyard once a week or something? It's more like more grades one. <laughs> there, there's a problem in that you raid graves. It doesn't matter how often or how infrequent the raiding of graves is. Oh, boo -a hoo Like... There are definitely unwholesome aspects to necromancy, but they're predominantly metaphysical. <laughs> Kidnapping someone's great grandma is still a problem. <laughs> you mean stealing someone's great grandma's corpse? Kidnapping someone's great grandma. You, Onyx, gets to do kidnappings. Onyx does kidnappings. <laughs> Because Onyx does kidnappings. Also, Onyx is literally undergoing apotheosis. So he, you're, what you're saying is, if I get the Dark Hollow and seek to undergo apotheosis, all of my unethical behavior is just fine. Yes, exactly what I'm saying. Two, I don't think Onyx is the model of good social behavior, because he does kidnapping. All right. No, but I'm not. That was the correct answer. Onyx shouldn't be a role model. And the actual answer is that Rose is I mean, aware that its necromancy does not exactly encourage pro-social behavior, but thinks the trade-offs are worth it. Also, I disagree. Onyx has only kidnapped people that have willingly wanted to be kidnapped. That's fair. Anyway, continuing. Yeah. Aside like, from the fact that he's a demon prince. Which, how does that have anything to do with his kidnapping? You treat it like that, 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 that's important. You, you, yeah. Anyways, yes, Kaga's going to leave all of you. So, now, now the warden knows about the other issue, and you know about a different issue. Which will take all of you working together. Now you just gotta work together as a group and save the day, be the heroes. And also, speaking of which, what is your lot's plan for dealing with, uh, well, suffice to say, 
you have to get into a red place to try and find something. It's going to be difficult, is what I'm saying. I go what we're looking for is something. <laughs> well, evidence is the thing. Yeah, I know. Because, frankly, there's plenty of stuff that you could use as evidence, but you don't have any explicit evidence. Mm -hmm. You you know the Red Court had a guy, but you don't know if the Red Court actually got anything done. Which sure. is hence the problem. So our plan was, if I recall, to go... So we know about this spark lady now. Who wanted me assassinated. Mm -hmm. Yes. And our plan is to put on our finest supernatural veils and go on down to the Camazots Club. Camazots Club! Camazots Club! Anybody with scholarship recognizes that Camazot is a... I know who Camazot is. Yes. Anyone with scholarship in character knows who Camazot is. What is it? He's a... He's a Mesoamerican bat god, and the one that gives the Mesoamericans fire. Hmm? He's actually the most chill of them, besides Kuklakan, which, Fire! which is also incredibly insane because he also at one point basically takes uh, Mesoamerican Hercules's head, well mm -hmm. the brother's head, but yeah, he Boy, that, do. yeah, well that's the thing. That's the thing. Cabazon's still pretty chill about it because he's like, dude, you just came into my house unannounced, so I'm stealing your brother's head. Figure it oh, out. Just, just dealing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Camazot, Camazot is Camazot. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. We saw it, yeah. They, they fixed the brother's head eventually. As you do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah. You guys can go to the club. You can get your veils up. Veils to hide yourselves. Be um, invisible at a club. Uh, uh, not invisible, disguise. Okay, you're gonna go with disguise rails. Okay, that works better. Yes. Because invisibility bales are harder. Yes. Yes. Or actually, they're both blocked. Yeah, I know. I'm just asking. Because uh, Lauren Prime was gonna, was trying to ask something. Yes, Prime. So, could I go small? And sit in Ethan's pocket. <laughs> Why? Okay, so okay, so you <laughs> want to shrink to your pixie form and then yeah. veil Ethan. Yes, and sit in the pocket. Okay. What does it, what does it take to use the veil? Because actually, that might be better. Because <laughs> that actually is something that makes sense, especially considering Ethan would otherwise have to go with the mundane disguise. So, from what I'm seeing, veils are evocation, which means it's really hard to make them last for a whole scene. Uh, well, the thing is, they are an evocation, but that's for using them for actual combat purposes. Ah, uh, okay. When you're using them out of combat, it's, basi uh, it's basically the number of... I can just say at some point, hey, if you've run out of juice or something with them, etc. Cool. You basically just determine how much power you want to put in. All right, let's okay. throw um five shifts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you're going with a really strong one. Ah, uh, that's actually pretty easy for me to pull off because I am a very powerful witch. Silly, you're not a witch. You're a necromancer. <laughs> I feel like necromancers are a subclass of which. No, the, the necromancy kind of trumps the being a witch. Yeah, that's fair. All right, spell controlled. Just like the Nazi kind of trumps the necromancer. That's fair. It doesn't matter if you're a good necromancer if you're working for Kemmler because you're also working for a Nazi, so that kind of trumps the other. That's fair. Anyway. The uh, veil is up, so let's head down to that uh, Camazot's club. <laughs> Why did you do that? Okay, so you got it. I thought it would be funny. Yes, okay. And now the pixie can also roll. 
Pixie. Believe oh, in right. yourself. I can remove my mild mental consequence at this point also, can't I? Yes. Yes. But I, I still look real nice because I need to justify it by going out to a club while looking great, which yes. I am about to do, handily enough. Yes. You. So for reference, you roll your discipline. Oh. Because I was saying, use no. discipline or deceit to oppose. Yeah, oh yeah, you actually have the glamorous power, so you get to use deceit. Yeah, so you get to use deceit. Yay! Okay. <laughs> And that's the actual good thing about the glamorous power, because it literally lets you do veils with deceit as a skill. Meaning you don't need to be disciplined. <laughs> uh, yeah. Amelia is really bad at actual magic, but she's really, really good at veils and other glamours. So, you now look like you got an action figure in your pocket. Uh, <laughs> wear fox, boy. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm quite okay with that. Is that action figure in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I'm, assuming, I'm hoping it's chest. Is it yeah, like, what? Jack and pocket is what I assume. There is, the, there is in fact a. Uh, there is now a doll in his action in his pocket. Uh, sorry, action figure, action figure, uh, of your party member Amelia. Yes. <laughs> in whatever doll clothes that uh, one of them happens to have been carrying on hand. <laughs> Wait, have I ever guys? Okay, I haven't finished this. It's kind of bad, but I do have um, a ref sheet for Amelia. <laughs> so you, so now there, so she's wearing Malibu Barbie's outfit. There you go. Yes. Nice. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't think Malibu Barbie fits with this, but you know what? Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, this is your uh, walking fungus, right? This is Amelia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe you show me this. She's really nice. I like it. I'm not that good, but I'm getting there. <laughs> Alright, so at that point, now we're just going to the club? Yep. I believe uh, in you. Sweet. <laughs> Yay, drugs. Yes. Yep. So, yeah, you guys get to go to a club. Drugs, uh, drugs, drugs. Drugs, drugs, drugs. drugs. Like drugs, 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 drugs. Stop that, Baps. Okay. Baps, you guys are going. So this is Denver, so it's right next to a dispensary for obvious reasons. Denver, Denver, drugs, yeah. drugs. <laughs> Secondly, besides there obviously being actual good drugs there, uh, you you notice that all the booze. In, in a in a club based theme is for some reason bubbly and uh, dyed with some red. Except for me, dyed <laughs> dyed with the red. Uh, totally uh, dyed red. <coughs> and well, then, let's get drink. Yeah, yeah. There, there. You know, there's lots of booze. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Woo! Hey, hey. Don't just do the booze. I'm just being a right. right <laughs> This is. He goes to the booze, I want to, like, elbow him in the chest with my very small elbow. <laughs> <laughs> no Look at her! She, 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 she just. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one foot tall little pixie's just like. Bah! Stop it! Stop getting drunk! <laughs> the bodyguard's no getting drunk. The bodyguard's getting drunk. You get violent. <laughs> you get violent when you're drunk. That's fine. He's a. Just... <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know how to initiate this, so. <laughs> I guess walk into the club and see how it is. We're gonna wait for Hana before we do this. No, yeah, so we. I. I think the plan is to go to the club, see how it is, try and figure out how they're doing their kidnappings and who's doing the kid, and then maybe I don't know, shake him down for information about the kidnapping of uh, what was his name, Rodriguez. Yeah. All right. So specifically for what are you guys? All right. So just kind of hang out and see if we hear anything, or we're gonna actually just like 
snoop around in some places. Oh, uh, I think we make that call when we once we actually see it. All right. Fair enough. Right, in that case, I guess we just hang around and see what happens. So, because I don't know actually the law, is it was it not actually a bad idea to drink the booze with blood? <laughs> is that actually a bad thing, or? It depends if they're dripping their narcotic saliva into it, which they clearly are for at least some people. All right. And does it not matter? Does it only? I'm sure it affects any creature, not just humans. So if I was to drink it, it would still have the same effect. Probably, but I don't know that for certain. All right. Also, Diplo's AFK, so it's a bit <laughs> Yep. I'm gonna finish my lab. 